Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Dr Hannah Critchlow. This week we hear from a listener who wonders about the inequality of the temperature scale. I'm Bronwyn Higgs and I'm based in Melbourne, Australia. If we have a lower limit on temperature that is absolute zero, where it's so cold that nothing happens, why do we not have an upper limit? We turn to Sam Gregson, high-energy particle physicist at the University of Cambridge and working at the Large Hadron Collider in CERN, Switzerland. The temperature of a system is simply related to the amount of energy in that system. Because a system can't have a negative energy, there is only so much heat you can remove from it and so a limit to how cold you can get. This is called absolute zero. We have got very close to it. Scientists in Finland have cooled rhodium atoms to a tenth of a billionth of a degree above absolute zero. On the other hand, an absolute maximum temperature would require there to be a limit to the amount of energy you can give to a particle. As far as we know, there is no such limit. Although the speed of light is the universal speed limit, the reason you can't get there is that this would require an infinite amount of energy. So this speed limit does not limit the amount of energy and therefore the temperature of an individual particle. The most energetic particle ever observed was a cosmic ray of a Utah travelling at 99.999999985% of the speed of light, probably a single proton with about 50 joules of energy. This is equivalent to about 5 trillion trillion degrees Celsius and there is no evidence that this is the hottest you could get to. As far as we know, you are just limited by the amount of energy you can give to a particle. So you could say that the absolute maximum temperature is the temperature equivalent to all the energy in the universe concentrated onto one particle. But that limits more accounting than basic physics. Thanks, Sam Gregson from Cambridge and CERN. So temperature is related to thermal energy. And Einstein's theory of relativity means that although a particle has a universal speed limit, it doesn't have an energy limit. So, if you took all of the energy in the universe and put it into one particle, you'd essentially run out of energy before you run out of capacity for energy, which is why we have no absolute maximum temperature. And linked to energy consumption and capacity, let's roll over to next week's question. Hello, this is Christian Leixnering and I'm from Bielefeld, Germany. So, at times, I'm really hungry, feeling shaky because of my low blood sugar and all. I'm wondering, though, Why my stupid body doesn't realize that there are plenty of nutrients around my waist, so I would neither have to feel bad nor to run for a cheese sandwich. So why is it that I feel so apparently hungry when there's enough to digest without actually involving my digestive tract? Thanks a lot for the answer and goodbye. Send your thoughts to chris at thenakedscientist.com, tweet at Naked Scientists, write on our Facebook page or join in the debate on our forum, which is at nakedscientists.com slash forum. The Naked Scientist's Question of the Week, brought to you in association with the How to Wisman Foundation, supporting science and education from alpha to omega.